Hi all! I did some testing with the new simulation settings, and I discovered quite a nice simulation seed. So if we go here and look at the seed, it's this kind of pattern, with this kind of form in the center, and then symmetrically this kind of patterns on the side. And I start out with 4 and 8 neighbored cells to get born. And when I press play, it starts from the beginning, and initially it's quite simple. There's this little dance, and then the simulation really starts going on. And it spreads out nicely and evenly to the sides, and after a while also to the up and down direction. And this is very nice simulation seed, because if I just a little bit change the rules, it's going to be completely different. For example, this is now the 4 and 8 neighbors, but I have tested out to start out with the 4 and 8, and then at some point of the simulation, change the 8 neighbors to like 10 or 12 neighbors, and it will be quite different. So this is the kind of pattern that emerges from the 4 and 8 neighbors. But if we start from the beginning, and after a while, when the, it really starts spreading out, I will change the 8 neighbors to 10, and you will see that it will be quite different. Let's let it Okay, now is a good time to do it. So let's take the 8 away and put it to 10. And now the continuation will be quite different from before. For example, now in the center there is nothing, and there are many separate forms from the... There's not just a single big form simulating, but many smaller ones. There are these kind of shuttles here, like spaceships or something, which are moving. And also everywhere something quite strange is happening. And as we can see, this is not only a single layer simulation, but there are actually three layers, and this allows for these complicated patterns to emo emerge here. And this is already quite nice, very strange looking. I can put down the speed a little bit so it's easy to see what's going on. So as we know, the blue cells which glow blue are getting born, and the orange ones are dying. And as a result of this thing, very weird forms can emerge in the simulation. There are these star-shaped patterns on the up and down just now. And this is quite nice. And we can also try something else. Let's put, once again, 8 and 4 and start from the beginning. And now let's try, instead of the 10, let's try 12. And that's also going to be completely different. I've also tested out with some other simulation seeds than this, and I've gotten nice results also, but we'll check them out later. So, okay, now it starts going up and down, and I'm going to change this 8 into 12. And now when I press play, once again it's going to be completely different from before. Now in the center there's also this form alive, and there are these nice looking spaceships once again going forward. For me this is very interesting looking. There are these little things going up and down, also this way, and this is just something very special. From the very simple initial seed, all these things come out. Ah, there was this very nice standing wave in the center. Here is again the same thing. With 4 and 12 it seems that this kind of form can emerge, but it dies out after a while, if left alone. And this is now the 4 and 12, and this is completely different. And what's also very interesting is that if I chose another moment to change the rules, this would once again be completely different. Since every, if I now press pause, and even for one cycle I say, okay, there's also a possibility with 10 neighbored cells to get born and press play, like this, and now it was two cycles and I take it away, and now it's once again going to be completely different uh, from what if I only had all the time 4 and 12. So this is like endless possibilities, since every time there's this flash, if you have different rules, it's going to have different results for the complete future of this simulation. And now this is just something completely weird. The whole simulation space is getting filled, and we have this kind of pattern. But I said I also had 
testing with another seed, which was quite nice. So if I clear this, I think I had it just simply like this. I was trying to remember the previous seed, which was the one I just showed. But I remember it was like this and I tested also this. And this was also very nice starting seed. Let's check if it works with the 4 and 10. It doesn't work, so I need to also start with 4 and 8 with this. I wasn't quite sure how this went, but I remember that this was also a simulation which was similar. Yeah, now you can see this is like some sort of a star or very alien looking. I don't know what this is. Now it looked for a moment like a face or something. And yeah, this is also a nice seed. And now when it has gotten started, I can once again change this 8 into something else. And we will going to have a different result. Now it started spreading out to the side. It seems when I put the 10 neighbors also to be an, an option for birth. So these are very nice. I really like how you can just tweak something a little bit and then you are going to get something completely different. And now I can of course maybe have 12 for a while, maybe have 16 for a while. And then I maybe take the 10 away and see what happens. And now we are going to have a completely different simulation once again. And I would guess there are countless of different seeds where you can get this kind of results. I think the key factor is that you need to have these four neighbors here. because it's a really nice number with this 3D game of life simulation. Since maybe we can find something. Yeah, here we can. Here we have this kind of form. Just four cells here. And when we have the four neighbors, it's going to instantiate the same shape in front of it and behind it, but not to the sides. So it's going to be like linear movement looking simulation. So that's why the four neighbor cell is very good. Here we can also see the four neighbors in action going forward in this direction. If we had, for example, three or five, it would be going also to the side. And of course, that's also very nice. But if you want this kind of simulation where not everywhere there are going to be cells, but instead there are these nests with, with, which expand, then the four neighbor mode is going to be very good for you. And here, once again, we have something very strange. There is this this kind of shapes emerge with the, I recall it was 4 and 12 which allowed this kind of thing also before. And now we have something strange going on here once again. Let's try if we take out the 12 and have 16 and 18, what happens then? I think the four neighbors are going to be dominant in this kind of simulation since it's much rarer to have 12 or 18. Or yeah, 16 or 18, I'm sorry. But yeah, but still they are going to have a difference since there are these nests where there are too many cells to allow only four neighbor cells to get born. And then they are going to kick in and have an effect on the simulation. Now in the center we have some kind of thing going on which died out. But if some other form came into it, like now there's going to be a collision in the center. <laughs> They are like waves, uh, I don't know the word in English, but when the waves are colliding and then they amplify themselves. Something like this can happen when two forms meet. But yeah, I think this is all for now. Have fun testing out these seeds and if you figure out some new ones, just post them in the comments. I'm going to put the download links into the description, so whether you have Android, iOS or PC device, you can test this simulation out and okay, have fun testing this out and bye.